previous year, would you have not even looked to be the guy that's taking that shot? And maybe like, not that you didn't feel that you could make it, but I'm not that guy that, I'm talking about the one with 5.5 seconds. Right, I mean, my, my role has changed in that sense. And we still, you know, I'm still not what you'd call, a, you know, a go-to number one guy on, you know, on offense. I mean, I can't get my own shot like a guy like Al can, but, um, but I, I just, you know, I, I, my teammates trust me and I trust myself to go out there and, and have the ball simply because not only I think I can get myself a good shot, but also I can find a good shot for somebody else. And whether that's pitching it back to Duhon and going pick and roll or whatever, I feel that I'm going to make a good decision and get a good shot for somebody. So th that's why, so me saying that I'm going to step up and make a play at the end, it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with me taking a shot. It's, it's I know in, in the course of coach's system that I can make a good play for somebody. David, it's surprising that 21 rebounds is your career high because, you know, that shows the consistency of your rebounding. So did that surprise you that it's your career high? Um, no, I guess it's like the fourth time or something I've had. I, I sat about 19 in the third quarter. I said, man, I may, I may get it tonight. But uh, but then the ball didn't bounce my way, and I had a seven-foot guy that every time I'd get a rebound would knock it away from me and take it himself. So he uh, – that made it even more difficult tonight was the fact that I was going against a great rebounder and a lot of times when I'd be chasing the ball instead I was just trying to box him out. So it was a, it was a tough, you know, hard fought battle. And um, with this homestand, things are going well so far. Of course, you face Miami and San Antonio, obvious playoff teams. So talk about the things that um, you want to avoid that happened in the second half playing those two teams coming up. We just need to continue to tighten the ship and, and, uh, and, and get things, you know, eliminate uh, a lot of our mistakes on defense and, and keep keep competing every possession defensively and then on offense we just we have periods where um, you know where we are a little bit uh, we just kind of stand and, and put Al and Wilson and some and, some, and Gallo and some guys in a tough position by uh, by just having them you know kind of left out there to dry isoing up and and our when we're at our best is when all five guys are working together and moving and cutting and and uh, and that's when we're at our best so we need to get better at that. Thank you. So you guys have now won seven straight games at home, uh, longest win streak you've had at home in years. So what do you think is what's been the key to you guys playing so well at home? Um, I mean, we, we come out with intensity. You know, this is our building, so you get you, know, you get teams coming in off of back to backs and you know traveling in late, you know, and things like that that work to your advantage. You know, most nights, you know, we're coming out executing. And um, you know, what can you say? You know, we we have to win the games at home and then you know go steal games on the road. Larry. Larry, how's it growing, growing, going, and stuff like that? Like I know, I know you didn't play many minutes tonight, but talk about how's it just? I went well, you know, no setbacks. Um, I was able to give the team, you know, a couple minutes, um, you know, which was good for me to actually get back out there after being out, you know, about a week. So, um, you know, I look forward to getting back out there on Friday and, and also getting to practice on uh, on Thursday. One more question. I remember interviewing you after the Warriors game. Things have changed in a month, you know, and, and definitely talk about how how that um, faith has really worked out for you guys collectively. Well, it's a long season. It's a long season. Uh, there's a lot of ups and downs. You know, once you hit your stride, you know, you put a couple games t together, you know, a couple wins in a row, you know, and it changes uh, changes big, th big time. Once you get that momentum, um, you know, there's, there's no telling what can happen. Thank you, Larry. All right. Did you see those, those, uh, those shooting contests they had with Larry? And yeah, I just see him all the time. What, how, how competitive were those? They're very competitive. He really can shoot. You know, his range is, he got like J.R. Smith range, you know, and they say as soon as he walk in the gym, you know. He did back then. I haven't seen it yet. But, you know, he could definitely shoot the ball. Did he beat Larry? He beat Larry a couple times. Yeah. Not often, but Not he beat him sometimes. Yeah. You know how Larry is. He always made an excuse. <laughs> yeah, before Jonathan came on to the Knicks, you know, like maybe like last year, two years ago, did you ever think like, wow, this guy could have been something else, you know, too bad. And now he's here. Talk about that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, you know, sky's the limits for him, you know what I'm saying, if he would stay healthy. But, you know, obviously when he retired, I thought he was done. But, you know, he knew something else. You know, he busts his behind to get back, and I'm happy for him. Things are really going well. You guys are now in the race for the eighth seed and everything. So talk about um, how you guys could really mature and get better offensively and, of course, defensively. Man, we just got to just keep getting better in practice. You know, we've had great practice time. The practice has been very competitive. And, you know, we've been paying attention to details. And it's showing out there on the floor. So if we just keep doing that, I think we're going to be fine. Wow, thank you very much. I think I give it.